For a long time, my audience has been asking me to do some sling bow content, and I've just never gotten around to it. Well, this past week, Axiom Archery reached out to me, and they wanted me to review their easy sling bow. I said, bring it on. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. Stick around. I've been talking to my audience about what to call Wednesdays because I have themed days for my long form content. Fridays is feel good Friday. On Sunday, it's self-defense Sunday. Today, we're gonna to call this one Whip It Out Wednesday. We're gonna be whipping out this sling bow from Axiom Archery. What's not to love about a sling bow? It's a little bit slingshot. It's a little bit archery. It's 100% awesomeness. And let's talk about the sling bow itself. It's also a sling shot. If you look at this compartment down here, you can push this little button and it stores whatever ammo you wanna put in there. It's just like a little bubble gum machine, man. You just pop that button and when you're ready to put it back in there, just put it in there and click the button. You can store it that way. It's heavy duty. It's made with this really solid plastic and this piece can come out. You can just pop it right out and there's your slingshot. When you want to go in sling bow mode, you just pop it right back down in there. It gets no easier than that. Comes with some really nice bands. Seems like some really nice latex. Reminds me a lot of Simple Shot Black. And it's got a nice palm swell for those of you who like that swell. Nice wide fork. Woo wee! I want to show you how to take this out. You take the bands and you just, just pull this thing out just like this. It pulls right out from the side. And that's what it looks like. You know, if you're rebanding it, you just loop it right back through there, just like that. And you're gonna have to put it back in the same way, but you wanna keep the latex really tight as you shove it back in there. Just keep everything as tight as you can and pull it through. You may have to fool with it just a little bit, but you'll get it. Just don't let it slide out of those grooves. You'll get it right back in there. I took this back out so you could see this. Make sure when you're putting it back in, that you're putting it back in with the fold up like this so that you can pinch it tight like this when you slide it back into those grooves. Just like that right there. Now let's talk about the slingshot. It's got some size to it. It's got a lot of swell back here. And you know, it's got that typical slingshot grip right through here. You're dealing with a lot of palm swell in the back. Now, when you're holding it, you really do feel like you've got uh, something in your hands. Now, you're going to hear a little rattling if you've got ammo in there. I don't know if that's going to be a big deal to you. If it is, just take out the ammo. But it's got a nice wide fork. You know, if you want to shoot upright, you can. It's got a nice wide fork. A lot of people believe that if you're new into slingshots, a good wide fork is the best. This definitely has a wide fork, and it's just really easy to get dialed in. I know I didn't wear eye protection on that first shot, but you should wear eye protection if you can when you're shooting a slingshot, especially if you're doing what I'm getting ready to do next, and that is shoot a stone. I don't mind shooting stones through this because the fork is so wide. I know you're probably chomping at the bit saying, okay, Daniel, enough about the slingshot. I know it's a good slingshot. What about the sling bow? Well, the wait is over. We're gonna put this piece right back on here it just snaps right in. We're gonna take some shots. I've never shot a sling bow before, but I'm not scared. Let's get it going. Let's talk about these arrows you get with the sling bow because it comes with two. You have to screw these in like this. When it comes in the package, it's like this. You have to connect it this way, which you'll figure that out as soon as you take a look at it. But that's what you got. Okay, not bad for a first shot. I penetrated my wooden target pretty good. I'm gonna shoot into a regular archery target now. So here's how I'm doing this. This is obviously over the top only, and I'm pulling it over this way. I got these fletchings under the bands like this. And as far as what you pinch, you know, you're just putting this right here, right inside the pouch, just like you was pinching a you know, piece of ammo, just like that right there. Again, I'm new to all of this. Kind of a bullseye. You know, kinda only works in horseshoes and hand grenades, but uh, that's pretty decent. Now, just like with a slingshot, you trim your bands to get more power. These bands are untrimmed, and 
I'm not getting a whole lot of power. I could probably take small game with the power it's working with now, but I would want a little bit more just to be safe. Let's get back a little further here. If you wanna just get out and do some standard marksmanship, you know, these bands are fine the way they are. If you're gonna hunt, you might wanna trim them a little bit. So I think we're right in ballpark, just a little more tweaking. I'm approaching this very instinctive. I, I shoot slingshots primarily instinctive, archery primarily instinctive. I use a little bit of aiming faculties and it's kind of the same with this, man. I just turn this thing sideways like I'm shooting a slingshot or a bow and just let it rip, except it's a sling bow. The easy slingshot, man, it's bad to the bone. It's simple to use. It's a good slingshot. You can store your ammo. It's very heavy duty. It's built well. It'll probably last you forever. Easy, easy sling bow attachment. And it's about 70 bucks altogether. It probably would not be difficult to self-source your arrows for this. I wished I was good at making arrows. It's kind of like wanting to learn how to forge. It's kind of a bucket list thing. I want to forge my own blades somehow, some way, someday, but I want to also get good at making arrows. I may do a video on that one day, but you could probably easily self-source your arrows with this. The way that it's done is super easy. The title of the sling bow definitely fits its capabilities. I want to talk about this just because it appeals to a good deal of my audience. There's a lot of people who like to store up stuff for possible hit the fan scenarios. I'll even throw out the word apocalypse, even though it's kind of used in sort of a joking sense nowadays, but just hit the fan scenarios. There are people who like to collect things. I like to have a few things around, a lot of good blowgun supplies, slingshots, things that will last, you know, stored up ammo, bands, just things that you can survive with. We don't ever really know the direction society's going. But I'm a believer in a moderate level of prepping without all the paranoia and fear propaganda. Um, and I think something like this is a good prepping item. You can have a lot of fun with it, if anything. It is so fun to shoot this. It's really satisfying to get out and pull this thing back. It's really smooth. And I'm stoked to have this in my collection now. I wanted to put this in front of the camera today so that you could see it. Man, uh, I think it's a good investment for those who are looking for something simple. Not all sling bows out there are created equal. Not all of them are simple to use or put together. This one is, and I wanted to let you get a look at it. Do you own a sling bow? If so, which one? And which one do you like the best? Love to hear from you in the comments. What do you think about the easy slingshot? Take care.